Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the King Kong 2205 2300KV motors. And uh, a few weeks ago I did a, a video on building an, uh, sort of an Impulse Alien 5 inch uh, clone. And this was one of the motors I suggested. So I went ahead and ordered some of these so I can show you guys um, what they're all about. Okay, so not a whole lot here in the box. You get the motor itself. And you get this little bag with, looks like you get four screws. It looks like a standard hex nut screw and this plastic um, motor protector. It's kind of nice. So here's a closer look at the motor. Pretty clean windings. Got a uh, C-clip here on the bottom. With a small bushing there. And you can see that the C clip rotates with the shaft. The uh, motor feels pretty smooth, the bearings are pretty smooth, there, but I expect this is brand new. A closer look at the windings from the uh, top. Looks like you got some pretty big uh, air vents here, so it should be pretty cool. It's a uh, no lock nut here with this motor. It just comes with a bullet style nut, and it's just the uh, clockwise thread. And it's a 5mm shaft. So comparing this to the Emax, this is the uh, 2205, this one's a 2600kV motor, and this has a lock nut, same 5mm shaft, but the obviously they have the cooling design here for Emax, so it's totally different from the King Kong, but you can see that this size is fairly similar. Now I've uh, already seen some uh, reviews on, on the King Kong motor and the thrust tests show that this is about a uh, thousand grams of thrust on a 5x45 propeller on 4S, which is uh, fairly comparable to the Emax. I know the Emax is probably uh, a little bit more, maybe like 1,050 or 1,100 grams, so it is a, definitely a, a better motor, but then you have to sort of consider the costs here. This uh, The King Kong motor um, cost eight dollars, and uh, the Emax motor cost twenty. So, um, sort of, you have to sort of decide which is a, a better value for you. Now, then again, I don't know what the longevity of uh, this motor is going to be like. I'll find out after I build my Martian or the Alien clone, and uh, we'll see how it holds up in, against crashes. I know that the uh, the Emax motor holds up very well in crashes, and I know a lot of people crash these all the time, and uh, it still holds up and flies very well, so I guess time will tell. Anyway, this is just a quick look at the King Kong 2205 motor. I'm going to be putting this on my Alien clone pretty soon, so stay tuned to my channel for that video. It will be coming up in the next few weeks. Until then, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.